Hey guys, happy Halloween. So I'm setting my face. I already applied foundation and a little bit of concealer. This is gonna be a really grungy look, so I'm not really trying to make my makeup look perfect. Now with the makeup wipe, I am just gonna remove the excess makeup that I accidentally put on my mouth area because that's where I'm going to be applying some latex and I want it to actually stick onto my skin. Okay, as that dries, I'm gonna just put on some eyebrows put on some eyebrows, fill in my eyebrows, <laughs> and then also take that same brown that I'm using into my crease just to give me like some type of dimension in my eyes. And then I took some black liner, applied it to my waterline, and then I just smudged it down and intensified it with some black eyeshadow. And then I also put some black on like my inner corner just to make it seem like as if I was crying. And then I'm just making a quick messy wing liner does it have to be perfect like i said i got this ben nye 3d effects kit at a makeup store and this liquid latex with this quad for bruising this little sponge and um, this other little plastic thing that applies the stage blood I'm gonna first take the liquid latex and then with that sponge I'm just gonna apply it everywhere that scar is gonna go now I'm just taking a sheet of toilet paper and I'm applying that right on top of the latex with sticks and then I'm gonna go over that again with some more liquid latex and then keep layering after it dries just so it's easier for me to cut through Okay, so I'm taking my little eyebrow scissors and I'm going to start cutting where the actual opening tear of the mouth goes. And I used my tweezers just so I could unstick the latex from my actual skin because it was making it hard for me to actually cut through. And then I'm just going to cut all along where I want the opening to go. Once I'm done cutting the opening, I'm just going to grab the ends and just stretch it a little bit so the opening looks flappy and more realistic. Now taking the quad, I'm taking that red and I'm just going to put that everywhere where there's opening flesh peeking through.
So now I'm just taking my foundation and applying that over the scar. It looks very orange because it's white that I'm putting it up against. Um, so I try to tone it down a little bit by adding a lot of setting powder, but I mean you can still tell it's very orange compared to my skin. Now I'm just intensifying the red because I did it the other way around. I applied foundation afterwards. And then I'm going to go back into that quad and I'm going to take that grayish looking color and I'm just going to apply that to the cuts but only on the edges so it creates that illusion that the cut is actually very deep. Alright, so now for the fun part, I'm just going to add some blood all around the cuts and um, anywhere I think the blood would have splattered in the event my mouth were actually slid open like that, god forbid, um, and then just down my neck a little bit and then onto my cheeks. And next, I'm just going to take some medium-sized safety pins and then just pierce that through the bottom of the cut and then into the top. For some reason, this was like one of the hardest things for me to do. I couldn't get them to shut. It was driving me a little nuts. Alright, so after that, I'm just going to apply more blood onto the safety pins so it looks more realistic. And then I'm going to take some eye drops and apply that on my eyes and then try to force myself to get my makeup smudged and make it look like I've been crying. Alright guys, so this is a finished look. This was my first time attempting this, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and learned a few tricks. This was a little gory, but lots of fun, like I said. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you guys later. Bye guys.